If you've never heard of Microsoft Loop, you're in the right place. It's something that Microsoft announced yesterday at the time of recording at their Microsoft Ignite conference. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at my first impressions of it. Got new videos on everything Microsoft 365 coming out every Tuesday. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. I'm Gavin Jones, founder at MeTime, where we help save people time at work so they can do more of the things they love by utilizing more of the Microsoft 365 suite. If you need help doing that, then stick around until the end. We can find some details about how we might be able to work together. But without further ado, let's have a look at Microsoft Loop. So what is Microsoft Loop? Well, this is how Microsoft would describe it. Think, plan and create together. Microsoft Loop is the new app that combines a powerful and flexible canvas with portable components that move freely and stay in sync across applications. So this is the sort of marketing speak of their fluid framework that they've been working on for a while. Uh, I've got a slide for my clients that shows them all of the sort of consumer and third party apps and how Microsoft have uh, borrowed, being politely, the functionality of some of them. And it's really helpful to know where they've borrowed their inspiration from when you're thinking about how to use specific apps. So for Loop, this is Microsoft borrowing from Notion. So if you want to use Loop now, because it's not out right now, then you can go and sign up for Notion for free and have a play around and it's pretty much the same gist. Uh, and we'll have a look at some of the things from Loop now. So the main thing that's like Notion is the workspace. And it's gonna be really interesting to see how Microsoft incorporates this into the rest of their suite because they've got a lot of baggage uh, with SharePoint, Teams, all the other apps that they've already got where Notion hasn't. So Notion uh, can get quite complicated, but at least you've got one sign into Notion and it's one thing that you go into and then everything you want to do notion is there uh, for microsoft loop when we look at the workspaces um, you can see this going on right now you can see there's uh, things down the side that look a bit like uh, teams and channels but they're not they're uh, pages and pinned documents there uh, everyone can work on stuff together inside the loop app and if you uh, again want to understand the uh, notion of, uh, pun intended, of how, how Loop Workspace is going to work, then go and check out Notion. It's, it's like pages, it's embedded um, spreadsheets, embedded databases that Notion does. Um, so it's going to be interesting about how uh, Microsoft is going to show this up in SharePoint and Teams, um, which we'll come back to. The second thing that uh, loop says it does workspaces pages and components second one being pages is uh, a bit like a uh, wiki i would say uh, notion's a bit like a wiki where you can put everything together and if microsoft decided to ditch the wiki tab out of teams and put loop there instead then that would be an amazing integration and really powerful um, it seems like they're going to keep it as a separate app to start with which uh, i think is an interesting uh, interesting approach is yet another app that someone's got to learn and understand when they're going to use that and when they're going to use wiki and when they're going to use sharepoint pages uh, whilst they microsoft sort that out themselves um, but as you can see in this uh, frenetic little demo multiple people can edit it at the same time um, you can see what people are doing in real time uh, and there's loads and loads of stuff going on which just comes back to like well I'm sure this wouldn't happen in, in real life, uh, most likely, but people move stuff around all over the place uh, and, and just, you know, breaking things by accident or uh, meaning, you know, well-intentioned, uh, you could end up pissed up someone saying, well, I don't want this number three, I want it number four, uh, and having a drag battle uh, to, to put this stuff in the right place. So there's pages, which is a bit like a wiki or a bit like a SharePoint page, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, it'd be great if SharePoint pages was uh, multi-co-authorable like uh, Loop is. So it depends how much they're going to integrate into their existing uh, other apps is going to be interesting. Um, and the components is the thing that's going to be available uh, first because we've not got any details about when Loop is going to be released. Um, but uh, components is definitely coming first. So wherever you put a component, it is then live and updated anywhere else you can see it. So in this example, they're putting a voting table into Teams and you can see all the co-authorings there uh, by 
default and uh, you know everyone can edit it in real time and it updates everywhere else. So if that component was also showed up in a loop app and also showed up in OneNote, also showed up in a SharePoint page, say they're not no, uh, not announced that things are going to show up in SharePoint, but presumably they, they, they will, then wherever you're looking at it, it all updates in real time. So uh, going back to their sort of fluid framework. So as well as the voting table that the demo is in Teams, they've also done a demo of a status tracker um, where you can co-author you know, a list of project status, I guess, in this example. Again, there's then now so many ways of doing tasks it's going to be interesting to see how Microsoft integrates all these things together because already people get confused with what when am I using to do, when I'm using planner, when am I using a Microsoft list. And so to have another area, because okay, you know we did put tasks in OneNote as well. So we've done a different video on all the project management tools in Microsoft 365, where it gets quite complicated, and you can watch that video here if you've not seen that one already and also how to make Microsoft Lists more useful, which uh, you can watch here. Um, we've already done videos on that, and then now there's another way, a status tracker. So seemingly, Microsoft's trying to help people out by allowing people to update things in real time, uh, but we've already got loads of other apps that can do very similar things, if not the same. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see whether Microsoft puts these components into all of their suite and replace some other things so like i don't see why there's any difference between a list and a little component thing um, certainly there's not in notion there's just one database and uh, you know notion could do loads of other things with relational databases and have things show up across different pages uh, and it's really good and powerful but the same thing applies like you need to spend a lot of time thinking about how you're going to set out your notion uh, we don't want Loop to be, you know, people taking up their entire time and thinking about, well, am I going to use a status tracking thing here? I'm going to use a list. Uh, are people updating things in real time that I don't want them to do? Uh, is there going to be audit tracking? Um, so it adds a lot of complexity, but it could be amazingly brilliant. Uh, obviously, the technology behind it is really good in terms of being able to have that speed of, uh, of live updating. And then Perhaps most interesting of the demo is that then the third party uh, integrations or integrations into Dynamics 365. So you can pin a, a record from Dynamics into Teams. And again, wherever that uh, component is shown, it's updating live in real time. Uh, it does make me sort of slightly nervous sometimes that you just pin it into Teams and someone could just be flicking by by accident and change stuff that they didn't mean to, um, but maybe that's just me, I'm not sure. So yeah, that's just a first quick look at Loop. I think it could be really powerful. Uh, they've not released any details about how it's gonna be integrated, so how Microsoft plugs this into SharePoint with some obvious overlaps with Microsoft Lists and SharePoint Pages and the Wiki in Teams to have yet another thing that you could use uh, without some clear direction about where they're going uh, to sort of take over those things. It doesn't really make any sense to have a SharePoint page that, that, that is then not co-authorable. Uh, doesn't really make any sense to have a wiki in Teams that can't do all the things in Loop if they're going to replace one with the other. Um, and the components thing is obviously really powerful, but could get quite confusing about where you go back to see everything. The workspaces bit looks great because it's uh, borrowing from Notion, uh, and Notion's really powerful. So hopefully they'll keep carry on developing Loop so it's uh, as powerful as Notion. But with great power comes responsibility. So as you can see quite quickly, it seems to mirror uh, the structure of Teams. So where's Loop going to live? Uh, is it going to live in a team? Does it need an Office 365 group to work like Planner? Uh, is it if it's just a completely separate entity and you then end up recreating all of the groups and teams and channels that you've already got because obviously you might have spent a, a bit of time thinking about your teams and channel structure if you haven't then maybe uh, worth a chat to see your next best step on how to make that work for you in your organization um, but assuming you have done that work if notion if uh, notion if loop is then just completely separate. You need to set up everything from scratch and it doesn't sort of mirror your teams and channels and, and how you work. 
it's then this little, what am I going to use Teams for? It's that just collaborate with other people. So I could just put a note in Notion. Uh, obviously, the app mentions we've talked about before on this channel also get quite confusing. If you do an app mention in a list, it's different to doing an app mention in a chat in Teams next to a list. Same as doing an app mention in Excel. It's different than doing an app mention in the team. You're sort of jumping people out back into their email because they're getting an email notification about an app mention in PowerPoint or in Word or in Excel or against a list item. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see then how you get notified about stuff in Loop. Um, so there's lots of questions that still need answering, but this was just my very first impression and first quick look at Microsoft Loop. If you want to know how to make the existing Microsoft 365 suite work for your organization to make meaningful change in people's work day and lives, saving up to four hours per person per week following our approach, then make sure that you book a call with us using the link in the description below, or at least if you're not ready for a call, sign up for either our free Teams training using the link below or one of our pre-recorded webinars that's in the link below. If you're in the food and beverage industry, then make sure to link up with me on LinkedIn. We've got lots more content coming out about how you can make your organization specifically better. And uh, we have some live workshops running from uh, LinkedIn as well, specifically for the food and beverage industry. If you're not interested in that, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we've got new videos coming out every Tuesday. Before you leave this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it helps us in the algorithm. And if you really liked it, consider buying me a beer using the link in the description below. It really does help support the channel and keep free content coming out on YouTube. But thanks for watching so far. I'll see you in the next video.